All right, it's Will. So you have to steer to the right into the cliff face, and then that bounces you out anyway to the left, and you fall off at 800 f time. Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to a, another video. Now, roughly 45,000 years ago, I did a video in BeamMG uh, some, titled along the lines of like, this is the hardest challenge in BeamMG. Standard YouTuber bullshit. And the challenge was set on the Leap of Death map, which is uh, fairly infamous, I think, within the BeamMG community, mainly because in the last few years it's been broken. Uh, it was a map made back in the early days of BeamMG, and with various updates, it's just fallen apart, basically. But thank you to forum user put name here, because I can't remember it off the top of my head. The Leap of Death is now working again, which means that I can take another stab at what I called the hardest challenge in BeamMG. Now, why is it so difficult? Because, essentially, it's a massive climb up a tiny little dirt road with massive elevation, uh, from the bottom of this big kind of quarry-like chasm thing all the way up to the top culminating in a big old yeet off a ramp at the end. Which last time I turbo cut all of you out of, I think. I'm fairly sure I did. But it should be a ton of fun and it's also an excuse to play BeamMG again. Because I really love this game, I have just run out of things to do in it. So maybe I need to be more creative. Maybe I need to just throw stuff at the wall or throw cars at the wall I guess and see what sticks. Now before I start this video proper, two things. First of all, oh, look, look, Jim, that's a very nice, that's a very nice shirt you're wearing there Jimmy. Where, where can I possibly get one? <laughs> Glad you asked. This is the most recent iteration of the Polyzno Punterino shirt available uh, on my Teespring store. There'll be a link down below in the description. Go have a look. Once you're done furthering capitalism, if you very much enjoy this video, then feel free to tap that like button. I'd also appreciate you subscribing as well, if you like, of course. Please. So here we are in the uh, the ditch, the, the bottom of the Leap of Death map. And to give you some idea of how far we have to climb in this map, let me just uh, pan your camera around. So here we are down bottom here, and if I can... There you go, just about to see up the top here. Yeah, you see that little peak right up there? That ti that little tiny speck in the distance? That's how far we've got to go. And uh, i tell you what, this, this car, this uh, little pickup truck, is not going to be suitable for this journey. So let me go find something a little bit more suitable. Well, all my, uh, all my cursed automation cars are in here too, but they aren't, they're definitely not going to be okay. We're going to need something big and beefy. You need a beef. So here is the car that I am going to take. It is the... What the hell is it called? The Gavel Roma. There you go. I definitely knew that by reading up in the top left there. Uh, a lot of power, which is nice. We're not really bothered about 0 to 60 and top speed, stuff like that. The important thing is there's a lot of ground clearance. Uh, lifted suspension as well, which means we aren't going to bottom out anywhere too much. Big old fat off-road tyres, lockable diff, high and low range gearbox. Basically the works for an off-road car. And we're going to need all of it to get to the top. Also, it's got a supercharger. I like that. Oh, wait. This car doesn't have lockable divs. Oh, well. It'll probably be fine. Well, then. Let's start our climb, shall we? To one of the uh, top one of the toughest maps in BMG. And this bit right here is basically the proving ground. If you can get up here, you are okay to do the rest of the map. Now, whilst I do have a high and low range gearbox, we're in high right now. Up here, I'm going to just keep it in the high because first gear is a nice amount of torque for us to get up the top. Wheels are spinning a little bit, but that's okay. Up the first bit, and basically, when I uh, was practicing for this video yesterday, uh, I say practicing. No, nope. just uh, bring that back over, shall we? We don't need a wind mirror. Yeah, lightened car. Anyway, when I was practicing for this video yesterday, which obviously just didn't do anything because I'm still terrible. Um, I went through a host of different cars to sort of see what was suitable to go up here, and it has to be something big and beef like this, otherwise you just don't have enough power to get up these dirt roads. They're, they're super slippy, even with these big, fat off-road tyres. So, away we go then, through this first bit. And you're getting a little bit of a look now of the task we have at hand. You can see where this road ends up here. This is one of the toughest parts of the course up here, and then we have all that shit to go right to the top. It really is. The scale of this map is, is just massive. I think my uh, 
best time for getting up here is somewhere like half an hour. It does take a while, but that means we get to be... We get to talk to each other, chap. You like that, don't you? No, no one no one does. Now, if you're wondering, I've got my wheel rotation set at about 540. It's a little bit less than what the game has as a default, but just means I can react a bit quicker and uh, save any big scary moments a bit quicker. Right, I'm already not sure how big this car is at the front here. Just making sure we've got enough room. One hand on the mouse, one on the wheel, like a true gamer. And you can just see how narrow these roads are. I mean, it's barely big enough to fit this uh, big old trucko down, which means that yeah, if you do make a mistake somewhere, you just tumble. Not so bad on this bit, but when you get up to that bit, it gets substantially worse. Let's hold on second gear for now. Nice and easy. And this is a, the first sort of section to sort of set the tone for the rest of this, this climb. It's just a sheer drop to one side with a climb where the car is moving about on its wheels as it, as it scrambles for grip. It can get a bit of sketch quite quickly, but you've got to just be calm, be easy on the front line, you'll be okay. And I'm just saying this to myself to reassure myself, oh my god. Right, okay, that is, that's the first checkpoint. Just getting to the dam here. Now, I've already damaged my steering. I can see that, where I've, I think I've rolled it somewhere, so... We're already a little bit off-centre on our steering wheel, but it's okay. Use the speed. Carry the speed up. Nice. Again, really easy to fall off the edge there. And now we get to a part which is actually quite tricky in this car. Because it's so damn narrow, this thing doesn't actually fit through there properly. So it's a bit more of a... A bit of a yeet through there, I think it's fair to say. You have to just sort of get up on the wall and hope the tyre grips. It usually don't. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, there you go. Come on, you chungus. Breathe in. Breathe in, you fat bastard. Come on. There you go. Absolute a squeeze moment. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ah! Okay, maybe I need to just go for the full, like, full send. I think, can you see on the side there? Just zoom in on that quickly. That little bit, a bit that a bit of trim down at the door. I think that's stopping me getting through. I wonder if I can just quickly remove that. What is that? That's it there. Okay, so that's, uh... No, 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 no. Oh, I've made it worse. Oh, Jesus. Well, I think it's kind of out of the way. My man's got his arms in the air. <laughs> it worked! Mechanic. Are we out? Yes, we are out. Now, I'm noticing we're overheating a little bit there on some of the more aggressive sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a very quick adjustment to the car. Just get some of that heat out. Mmm, supercharged B8 motor. Now it can breathe eat. Oh, let's, get, let's get rid of this. And we don't litter. We don't litter either. All our stuff goes into the, uh, the dam there. And we all know throwing stuff in the water means it's gone forever. So... What do you mean plastic in the ocean? I never heard of that. Anyway, so next bit. This is one of the toughest bit of the course. So I used to speed run this back in like 2017. And I called this part the dream because you knew if you got up here first time, the dream was on. Oh God, that's not a good place to be. No! Take me back boys. Come on the dream. Yes, come on, keep going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. No! No, please! No, <laughs> it's right there! That's right, up the hill, up the hill. Just get, the, get, the, get, your little, get your little legs over, there you go. Right, last bit, don't go over to the fucking side this time, don't roll it. Oh, yes! Undisputed fucking king. Right, okay. It gets... I say easy from here isn't right, but that is one of the big challenges getting up there. There is another massive one, which I'm not even sure we're going to be able to get up to with this truck, but I'm going to give it a red hot go. But still, you can see at any moment, the leap of death is just waiting to claim you into one of these just sort of trenches that accelerate you to the bottom of the hill quite quickly. Easy through here. Nice, nice. Look at that. I still haven't really had to use low range yet. I know you guys might have been screaming at me there. Use low range! Jimmy, I know best! 
I know so much. Probably. But um, to be honest, this first gear here with the torque it's got and sort of the range, it's actually pretty nice. It's right between where I want it to be. This would be like third gear in, in a low range, so. I'm happy just mashing it in first. Do you have to be careful though of that coolant temperature over to the left? That will raise up a little bit if I'm sort of stuck somewhere and just revving the engine. It needs a bit of air going through at this thing. Our path laid out in front of us. So cool to be driving this map again though, I gotta say, like this brings back sort of odd nostalgia. In fact, I'll say it's sort of 20, 2016 I did my little speed run of this. It was back when I was in uh, an actual bedroom at my at my, uh, <laughs> at my parents' house. So a long time ago, a long, long time ago. Now we're in the, uh, I'm in my own house. Pretty mad, huh? Lucky boy. I, I, I just, just go. Mm, mm, mm. I got confident in the second gear for a second then. That's what you get. You should know by now, BMG. If you're confident for a second, the game will just take your wheels. <laughs> These are mine. Gone forever. Oh man, look at that. Coming up ahead, that looks fairly challenging. It's not too bad to run along here. It's just trying to keep the, uh, keep the thing pointing on to the, uh, on the right way, but because I'm in this view, I can't quite see what's ahead of me. I, I thought about using cockpit view, but it doesn't quite do the game justice, I don't think, in this game. Because everyone wants... I mean, you play BMG for two reasons. Two, uh, firstly, sorry, the physics are great. And secondly, you love seeing the crashes. So you, you, you've got to have the uh, exterior cam whenever we mess up. And it happens very often. I sort of vibe along here. Nice. Still going. Recording time right now for the segment is about half an hour, just if you're wondering. It's taken that long to get this far. Um, there were a few technical issues, to be fair, but still. Put time aside in your day if you're going to do this. Oh, my God. Okay, so we have to start getting a bit of speed up now. Loads of big bumps here, and this thing don't like it. Very soft suspension. Luckily, it's sort of camera to the right way, so it's going to push us towards the mountain, not away from it. There you go. Speed, 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 speed. Ooh. It's getting spicy now, boys. Let's have a look. Okay, just having a little peek of where we're going. Don't want my little uh, my little gavril to suffer anymore. To lift the front up over there. Let's get, get on the throttle. So easy just to nose into one of these and just smash the front end. Be nice to yourself. Keep saying the comforting things and it'll be okay. Power! That strategy's working a bit too... I did not deserve to survive that. <laughs> oh, that was a hit. That's what I was talking about, getting the nose in there. Nice, making progress, man. I'm pretty sure my steering is very, very broken, but it don't matter because we're going slow. So there's our end point up the top there. We're getting closer. And that down there, you can't even see it anymore. Below that dam is where we started. So making, making some good progress. Oh, Jesus Christ. Didn't see that big pothole. I've always wanted to try and do this map in like a normal car, but you can't really get by some of the big obstacles. You need to have big off-road machine to get up here, really. All those sort of road cars and all the meme cars, they just can't get up here. They just will spin on the slope for too long. Speaking of, we need a bit of speed up here, I think. Oh, don't get wedged again. Come on, Chungus. The blue Chungus. Look at that, like a glove. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Both my wind mirrors are gone, but we don't need those. Oh wait, it's left. I'm making some fucking good progress. Now I know that there is one more really tricky part that is gonna stump us. I think we're getting nearer to it now. It's quite close to the end of the uh, end of the run as well, so I've gotta be careful. Oh, and also, as you can see, I think it's getting darker, you know. Time is marching on. Shadows are getting longer, so we're gonna have chase the uh, we're chasing the sun now at the top. We might end up doing this, finishing this at night. I hope not. Oh, that's gonna make it really difficult. So we gotta get a bit of a move on, I think. Round, 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 round. Good. Come on, you f bastard! <laughs> oh my god! Every time I get even a little bit of a little bit sort of throttle happy, the car decides that you know what? I want to go see the world and just throws itself off. And uh, well, you know what happens. Rally drivers hate him. See how this man is. Oh no. 
Seal this man's own ode. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Okay. It's only a small roll. It's only a small roll. Can I, can I get back? I have fallen and I cannot get up. All right. Bit of all starvation. Never hurt anyone, mate. Don't worry about it. It is getting darker. I'm quite wary of that. We're, we're racing the sun, it seems. Oh, no. I didn't foresee this bit. Come on, grip up. If that door catches, we're going to be in trouble. Now we're good. Going all right. Much to my surprise. All right, we've got to send her a bit now. We're going to beat this... Uh, Beat the sun. Oh, I think we're getting up to it now. This part looks very familiar. I've got some PTSD of this part, so it must mean we're getting up to the point where the second big struggle is the dream two. The car is feeling like it's not quite sitting level anymore. That probably didn't help either. It feels very floppy at the moment. No matter how much I punch it, it will not get stiff. Watch out for the big water. The small water. Now this looks like the bit I was talking about. We're not quite there yet, but it's going to start getting pretty, uh, pretty intense soon. I think it might be this bit. It might be this bit with the buddy vertical. <laughs> How? Okay, I'm going to need some speed in this, aren't I? I'll speed it. No, it can't. that was too easy. That can't have been it. I feel like this this bloody map is taunting me. It knows that I expect something soon. That door is... Uh, I've got to commend its spirit. It's hanging on in there. It's bent, it's broken, but it's not giving up. Again, just like a great visual metaphor of my mental health there. Okay, let's go up the hill. I guess it's a bigger hill than I thought it was. This is going to require a run-up. There you go, a bit more speed. Just keeping the pins now. Any bit of grip. Come on, tyres. That's right. Oh, my God. It's starting to get more and more difficult. We are getting closer, though. We're getting close to the peak. It's just up there now. We're getting so close. This looks like it's just begging me to fall off. Don't fall off, Jimmy. Second gear using the torque. Car loves it. Big old B8 motor loves it. Torque machine. Back in the sun. Come on. We can make it to the top before sunset. Getting narrow again. Every bit of camber just trying to throw us off the edge. I gotta say, this is where like I absolutely adore BMG. It's just these sort of, these little little mini challenges I set for myself. It just makes the game far more entertaining. The game needs more of these these sort of scenarios, these things that take a while to do. Because all the scenarios are like these little two minute things. I would love more that are like an hour or thirty minutes. Something that is a proper challenge. Something that makes you sit down and sort of play the game as I think the game should be played. You know, kind of ser semi-seriously and then you get to laugh when you fuck up. But there's, there's no downside to it in that regard. None at all. I've got to be so careful with this car as well. It's so easy to stall it. I knew we did there as well. Just a bit of a clutch kick to get us up the hill. Come on now. That's a bit of a bastard. Up. The thing is, when the wheels come off the ground, you just lose all your drive, obviously, because you're not connected to the surface anymore. And you find yourself... Sliding back down again once the, uh, you have landed. You just haven't got the purchase anymore. This is going too well. I expect something to go wrong massively in a minute. Is this the bit? Or is... Okay, I think I've seen the bit. I think it's up here. I think this is the devil. <laughs> the devil fucking visualised a road on the mountain. Shadows are getting longer too. I really don't want to be in the dark. Oh, okay. This is it. This is definitely it. I've just felt that the... the the shiver going down my spine. Do I carry speed into it? I've got to, haven't I? Come on. I mean, look at this. No way. No way. Do I just make it? That can't be it. More? More. Not carrying the speed, not carrying the speed, come on. Scramble, scramble you little cutie, come on. Up, 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 up. Oh, oh, come on. Please. 
There is no way. There is no way that just happened. I, I remember vividly being stuck there for an age in previous attempts. This absolute weapon just monstered it like it was nothing. I think carrying the speed in was definitely the, uh, the important thing there. Okay, we're looking good. We can't be too far off now. This is basically just a video of me saying, come on. I mean to come on counter. No! Yo! We're still in it, boys. I love how I do the really difficult bit and then just crash going up a hill. Like at this tiny little path here. So. Oh, so. So stupid, but oh man, sun's starting to go down. I can see the orange in the in the sky there. Really cool effect, by the way. The old map didn't have this on it, so uh, good to see this sort of like the fixed version does. Don't go off the edge again, Jimmy. That ain't it. You're aware of the fact that ain't it. We well, now have our fully repaired Gabriel because there's no way I'm driving from the bottom again. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Dorchan. I got I got very very attached to Dorchan. Come on, up the hill. Can we now get to the top for the sunsets? I don't know how much longer we have. I don't think it's too long, but any more excursions, of course, it means that we are going to lose time there. You can see just how easy it is to make a little mistake, and then you just tumble. There's no coming back. There it is. There's, there's the end. Right up there. We're getting close. Come on. Come on. Last few bits now. Come on. Right there. But you know what? I don't want to celebrate this, though, without my boy Crinkly Door. So what I'm going to do is just... Now, now I feel good again. Now I can continue. <laughs> Hope you don't fall off. I sort of, I did really, really crunch that to the last stages. Now I can, it, it feels close. It is. Look at it. I can. It can it's just up there. Come, Come on. on. Ah, I, just, I don't want to speak. There it is, chat. We made it to the top just before the sun goes down to. Leap of death, baby. You know what? Your reward, your reward, little blue Gavril, is getting a Viking's death. Absolute pancake hours. Who is up? I'm just, I'm waiting for the earth shattering kaboom. It's coming. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Oh! <laughs> Certified pancake moment. And if you wanted to remind. Oh, we're just a chassis. It's all gone. That's where we started, by the way. Down that little ditch down there. You know what? It died as it lived. At the bottom of a dam. But guys, that was the leap of death in all its entirety. Uh, that took me about 45 minutes to get to the top of there. Um, probably a bit less without me falling off and making a tit out of myself every now and then. But. I just, I love BMG for these things. This is what I think the game is made for. I can just sit here and do that shit all day. Um, ton of fun to try and get round and make your way through all the obstacles. But with this map especially, just like the reminder every now and then, you put it over the edge and the car sort of goes, oh, and that's the end. Big rolls. If you enjoyed the video, as always, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. You can subscribe as well if you like. There will be a link down below in the description uh, for the fix for this map. So if you want to give it a go for yourself, then it's right there. Go and make an arse of yourself, as I just did today. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.